What's up today? We are over here in a beautiful state of North Carolina. We just got off of our home time and everything and we're hitting the road. Um, the company just sent me a load so we're about to go grab our empty trailer from where I dropped it at whenever I got home the other day and then we are going to be hitting the road heading over to Taylorsville, North Carolina to get our load and then that load is heading all the way over not too far it's going um, 273 miles from Taylorsville, North Carolina over to Atlanta, Georgia so it's probably gonna be about 280 miles you know the GPS isn't always 100% correct 280 miles probably like 290 miles um so yeah we gotta go grab that load it delivers tonight at midnight so i'm gonna go ahead and just drive it all the way through should only be about what five six hours away um and then i'm gonna just take an eight hour split let my eight hours run out and then i will be delivering that load in the morning let me make sure my car is locked all right car is locked and good and everything so yeah man we're about to go ahead and hit the road all righty we just got over here to the trailer I'm about to jump out do a little quick uh quick pre-trip on this trailer so i'll see you guys whenever we get back on the road all righty so we did our pre-trip on our trailer and everything we're now on the road <clears throat> we're now on the road so man i didn't upload a video on friday as a lot of you guys probably already know that um went to my channel to you know watch the friday friday upload because you know we always upload on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and we might drop a couple shorts throughout the week. But I didn't upload on Friday because Friday was my home time. I had a delivery with this same trailer. Um, and it was trash. I had brung some trash from Florida. It was literally recycled plastic. I had brung it from Florida up to Reedsville, North Carolina to a little recycling place um and when i got to this recycling place i had to you know scale in and everything so i scaled in but the scale was super duper small and it was on a sharp turn so you had to swing out super wide and i mean yeah it's my fault and everything i guess you could say but there was a trailer to my left side so i couldn't swing out as much as i needed to so when i went to swing i didn't swing wide enough and as i'm entering the scales i look out my passenger mirror and everything as soon as i look out my passenger mirror i see my trailer uh the tandem tires on my trailer hit the side of the scale and it popped my tire on the uh outer front outer um tire on my tandems so i had to call the company and let them know that that happened and everything man so when i had called them to let them know that that happened they told me they were gonna send the loves out um i had called them about 10 30. the loves didn't end up showing up till four o'clock the loves was literally five men, uh five miles down the street they told me that their power had went out 
So I guess I had to sit there and wait for a great amount of time for them to get to me. Um, but yeah, man, when I had called the company and let them know that basically I blew the tire out and everything, um, basically I have to pay half of the damage of the tire. Um, so however much it costs, I have to pay 50% of the damage. I also have to pay, take a $50 safety course basically and um it went on my record as a preventable incident they said incident so i have a preventable incident on my record now have to pay probably a few hundred dollars three four hundred dollars for a tire plus the roadside service call or whatever and i have something on my record now man i'm like something as simple as a blown out tire i feel like you know, you're already making me pay for it. So if I'm paying for it, why is it going on my record? And it's something as simple as what it was. It's not like I got an incident or an accident with another vehicle. Um, it's something that happened on private property for one. Nobody got injured, no, but nothing got messed up other than the tire. So for you to like put that on my record, I feel like it's up in a way to say, but um, you know, you live and you learn. It's like uh, a lot of my videos, I've basically been talking about sweet and everything. And it's like, I've been saying, I'm gonna try out this regional and everything, but I guess in a way, I know somebody seeing my videos over there, man. I know somebody has to be seeing my videos. Um, so it's like they think, oh, you go leave us? Nope, you're not going nowhere. We're we'll we're just waiting for you to screw up. Go ahead and go ahead and strip that screw real quick. So we go go ahead and throw something on your record. You ain't going nowhere. You saying right here. So yeah, man, I got that put on my record as a preventable incident. And hopefully, you know, it's nothing major. I need to uh, call and see how that works and what uh, all that is about. If any of you guys know down in the comments, can you go ahead and drop and let me know how severe is a preventative incident? Not accident, they said incident. So is there actually a difference between an incident and an accident? Um, are companies gonna look down upon me as a driver because of that? Or like, um, I'm just wanting to know a little bit of information about it because I really don't have too much information about it. This is something new to me. And they told me, you know, and, and if you guys do drive for sweet, make sure you are reading your policy book because on page 22, it states any uh, preventable accidents, you have to pay 50% of the damage cost. I never knew that. Um, so if you guys didn't know that, you now know that. If you have any preventable accident, you have to pay 50% of the cost. One of the questions I asked, I said, and it's funny to me because I didn't get an answer for this, but I said, so when that lady hit my truck, that was a preventable accident. Did she have to pay 50% of the damage? Because she destroyed that whole right side of the truck. So she had to pay 50% of the damage. She's not gonna see a check for a while, you know? And that's just something I didn't get an answer to. I would like to have the answer to that. But anyways, man, back onto the subject. We on the road now. Um, it's an hour and 40 minutes over here to our pickup in Taylorsville, North Carolina. So I'll see you guys whenever we make it on over there.